Welcome to my mini tutorial for how to save file hack in Crusader Kings 2. In order to save file hack, we're going to first need to open up some sort of search prompt or just navigate directly to your Paradox Interactive folder. I'm going to use Search Everything, which is a great tool. It's easy to download. You can go to ninite.com to find it um, and keep it up to date. But let's go to Search Everything and then just type Crusader Kings. Crusader. I'm going to go to your Paradox Interactive folder. Once you're there, you want to open up the Save Games folder, and then you'll see all of your Save Game files. Now these look like some sort of special file type, but they're really not. It's just a text document. I'm going to sort by date modified so that I get my most recent save. And then I'm going to open with some sort of editing, um, like a text editor. I like to use Notepad++. Uh, I just think it's the best, best version of it. But um, this will normally start off at the very top. And what's easy to do, if you just want to edit the character you're currently playing as, is your character's ID will always be right at the top of the file. So you can press Control C and then Control F, and it's going to find what, change that to equals. So it's just find what your player ID equals, and then the very first one it finds is going to be your character. This tells you the character's name, his nickname, when he was born. This is the f character ID of your father, character ID of your mother, the spouses that you've had. I have two spouses because one of them died. These are your base attributes. So for instance, if I wanted to save file hack right now, I could just give myself, say, 18 stewardship. The very next time I load the game up, my character will have a base of 18 stewardship. Um, it goes, mar it goes uh, diplomacy, martial, stewardship, intrigue, learning. You can also see your character's fertility and health. And then these are the traits that you have. You can go to the Crusader King 2 uh, wiki to find out what the trait IDs are. And if you want to add extra traits, you can just add them in right here, separated by spaces. Here's your current, per, current prestige, current dynasty score, how much piety you have, the religion you are. If you just want to change your religion or change your culture, you can do it here. I do recommend that you do a little bit of research before you load the game up, though, because... Uh, you need to make sure that you type this properly and that it's also a actual culture or religion. So for instance, if you wanted to change to Lollard and you weren't currently Lollard, you might want to use Control F and try to find someone else who is the religion you're looking for before you edit it. Um, just because, for example, like some of the Islamic cultures might be Altaic Muslim or Muslim Altaic. I can't really remember how it's set up, but... Um, you can also see the DNA of your character, which is how they calculate how your kids will be blessed with traits, like congenital traits. And then, of course, this is also another way you can find your player, is that it's always going to say player equals yes. So if you don't know your character's ID or you're somewhere halfway in between the document, you can always just search for player equals yes, and that's going to take you right to your character. Now, if you want to change someone other than yourself, you will need to know that character's ID. And the easiest way to get your character's ID is while playing the game. Um, bear with me here. I'm going to just type in this section. While playing the game, open up your console and type the following. Char, char info 1. Enter. And when you do that, it's going to enable extra information on the tooltip when you hover over a character. That's going to be able to, to show you the character ID of any character that you want to know in the game. So if you want to save file hack and say, do what I'm going to do, which is add in a number of extra names. I'm, I'm actually going to rename characters that are in the game I'm playing right now to some of the people that have been commenting on my channel and on this uh, Let's Play series that I've been doing. Um, so if you want to do that, just write down the character IDs, and then you can come in here and look for them, and then you can modify the names. So that's one easy way that you can save file hack. Um, and then, of course, before you finish, make sure you save, load up the game, and you're good to go. So that's uh, just a mini tutorial I wanted to show you how to use. And if you have any questions, make some comments down below. And please, uh, please do subscribe to the channel and watch the Let's Plays that I'm doing. Um, I'd love to see new people that uh, would like to contribute and, and follow along. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.